A federal judge rules all records of the handling of sexual assault claims at Baylor University be turned over. Thanks for joining us here at five. I'm Joe Gum and Harder has the evening off. Lawyers say this will give them a better understanding of how the school responded to sexual assault allegations made by students. Hunter Davis joins us now here in the studio and Hunter, uh, these were actually uh, the ruling came down earlier today. Yeah, Joe, this all co goes back to a series of Title IX violations reported to the university by several women between 2011 and 2015. According to federal judge Robert Pittman's ruling, Philadelphia-based law firm Pepper Hamilton will now have to release thousands of documents that are related to its investigation, which revealed in 2016, quote, institutional failure at every level. The firm was retained in 2015 to conduct a comprehensive review on the university's response to complaints of Title IX violations in the athletic department between 2011 and 2015. Several women came forward alleging misconduct by university football players. Pepper's report confirmed the university did little to respond to those accusations. It also gave several recommendations to avoid such failures in the future even going as far as to call for a complete restructuring of Title IX policies and procedures at the university. That report also resulted in several changes in leadership at the university, including the firing of head football coach Art, Bri Art Bryles, rather, athletic director Ian McCall, and also forced to resign Ken Starr, was stripped of his title as university president. And Joe, we did reach out to the university, but a spokesperson declined to comment. To be continued, right? I guess. All right, Hunter, thank you.